Lenovo, you sly fox, you finally done it. From your humble beginnings in China's electronics black market to the gutsy acquisition of IBM's personal computer business and the bitter sales battles with Dell and HP, you're at last upon the PC throne. All hail the new king. Your kingdom, unfortunately, not in great shape. Sales data for 2012 so far up to Q3 shows that momentum is slumping in worldwide PC shipments, though Gartner isn't writing off the industry just yet. Analyst Lillian Tay. As to the end of a PC industry, I don't think um, it is um, that near as of yet. Um, there is still room to grow, uh, but of course, you know, the growth won't be as what it was. That's in part because the world is moving away from desktops and notebooks, instead doing more everyday computing on handheld devices. Intel's long-hyped weapon to combat this mobile onslaught, the powerful wafer-thin Ultrabook, has failed to conquer, held back by its high price tag. That's forced industry watchers like iSupply to slash their Ultrabook sales forecasts. The other big hope, the upcoming Windows 8 release actually held off back-to-school upgraders in the third quarter, forcing PC makers to cut their prices to clear existing inventories. That's put the squeeze on profits for the entire PC industry with very tight net margins in comparison to smartphone makers like Apple and Samsung. And research firms like Jefferies don't see Windows 8 as a silver bullet for sales. So no guarantees laptop buyers return in droves to snap up these new Ultrabooks based on Windows 8, but you can bet in the boardrooms of top PC makers like Lenovo, they'll be spending more time focusing on business lines outside of PC like mobile.